Hi, I'm Susie. Everybody's talking about Galaxy Nails. I've got a few tricks and tips of my own I can't wait to show you. Let's get started. This design is super pretty and it looks so difficult, but it's really not that hard with a few tricks. So what I like about doing Galaxy in particular is I like to do it with gel, simply because we can cure it right away and off she goes. If you do it with a polish, there's a lot of polish on there. It could take a long time to dry and not everybody has time for that. So let's do this with a gel. So I've picked some gel colors I'm going to do the design with, sort of like what I would see in the Galaxy, I would think, I'm, you know. <laughs> this color here I'm going to start with called Gelavish. It's called Traumatized. It's a great name. And I've got my base coat already to save time. And I'm just going to go right in for the color. I'm going to use this just to help my balance my nails a little. This color I thought was just stunning. It's a great background color. In the light, you can see depths of blue and green. But it essentially looks black right from the start. A great base for, of course, the midnight sky. I'm a polish painter, so I tend to put stuff on thick. When you're putting gel on, though, do apply it on the thinner side. It really doesn't appreciate being too thick. So you want a black background or a very, very dark background for this. So a thin coat is good to start. Oh, look at this light. You guys are going to love this trusty little light here. Vanity Planet is the company that sent this to me. It's an LED and it is so adorable. When I first got it, I will be honest with you, I kind of opened it up and thought, eh, too small. I can't use that. And so I took it to the shop and showed the girls. We loved it because we love this heart. That's the on and off button. How cute is that? It's a little tiny heart right on the top. You can just see it. Really smart design. It's easier to use that on the top than if it's on the side or something. I think you've seen some of the lamps that I've used in the videos before, and they're very big. They take up a lot of desk room. What I love about this lamp is it's so tiny and so lightweight. This, we can just grab it and just go, mm, and you're done. It's excellent. I love it. Okay, so now here's where the design part comes in, the galaxy part. I'm going to need my little lamp right next to me. This is Majestic, no, Mystic, hello, by Jalavish. I'm gonna use this for the design. My Innocence, which is white. That's part of the galaxy part. I'm gonna try this melancholy, this kind of green color. I don't know, do they have green in the universe? Oh, I'll ask the cameraman. Uh, kind of, yeah, I don't know about green. I see more pinks and blues. Yeah, yeah, it's usually false color. That's a, a question he can actually answer. He's very smart in that department. Okay, so that one's cured, but I want to mix these ones with to create that universe look. I'm going to paint this base coat on it again. I want it to be wet because I want it to blend with the colors I'm going to put on next. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put this mystic down first, but I'm going to do it in dots. You know how sometimes the galaxy is kind of like in a sort of a blotch? Then we're going to take the white. You can see it's sort of mixing together now. Then I'm going to take this fan brush. See that brush? And I'm going to spray it with a little bit of alcohol. I think that might make it happier. And I'm going to use the fan, the bristles, to pull this design. There. Don't do it too much. That's the secret. I was messing around with it and getting a little crazy. Come up with a lot of really cool designs, but it did stray from our galaxy. So I'm going to leave that there like that. And let's do the index. Of course, every design you do will be completely different, but you don't want it to be the same anyway, right? Okay, I'm gonna, maybe I'll try that green that the cameraman says might be in the universe. I'll just do a little bit of it, not a ton, just in case he's wrong. That looks like blue. Hey, mm -mm. it's green. You don't see blue the same way I see blue. 
We'll see what color the viewers think it is. <laughs> okay. It's true though, men and women don't see blue and purple tones the same. Hmm. It's true, that's a stat, man. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this pulling with this again. See, I think I messed that up, so I'm going that to- That doesn't look like anything in the universe. Just bear with me. A wormhole, maybe. No, no, no. Okay, a little more white, just needs a little more white. Trust in me there, okay? Put that white in there. Maybe a little more white. I'm gonna leave that one, what do you think? Maybe you could try twisting the brush a little and it'll make more of a spiral. That's okay, I was doing that, I'll try that. I don't mind the green so much, but I think I'm gonna do more purple. I've seen that a lot in some of the pictures. Okay, so what I can see is happening here is I need to do a little twist. But I'll do his little twist, see what he says. That's looking better. It's not bad either. A little more white. And we'll just pull that white into the galaxy there. That's good. I like that. So I want to do this though, is we need to use my little lamp. I like to do a 15 second flash cure between, um, I got carried away there and forgot to do it, I was talking too much, distracted, between every nail because a 15 second flash cure holds it in spot. That's what I love about that light. I can just go boom, done, put them down. So that just holds that in place a little bit so they stop moving. So I can finish the other design here. Sometimes you can mess with a little too much, you know? I can't cure this first layer of green because I need it to blend with the white and stuff, right? I really like the white. Okay, I'll do the swirl. I'll swirl it a little more. This is out of my territory as far as... Ooh. What do you think? That looks good. I love it. I'm gonna nuke the pinky because me happy with that. No matter what he says. Okay, I gave it me 15 seconds. They're all different. Let me paint on that base coat. This is a much bigger surface to play with this thumb. I like the purple and little dots of the white. I find, make sure you use enough white because that really is the center of your galaxy there. And I will pull a little. I'm gonna pull a little more. Nuke. Okay, now before I continue, I'm going to use my little lamp and do the full 30 second cure. I'm also gonna do my thumb. I love this little guy. He sure is lightweight. It's very, very convenient. Then I give my little thumb. You can even see it too, it's really glows in there. You can see where you missed <laughs> and where you got it perfect because it does glow a little, it has that UV glow, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm not finished with this. It looks cool. Oh, you're talking about. That looks cool. It does look cool. I'm just a purist when it comes <laughs> to spiral galaxies. Maybe know? nails aren't for you then, my I friend. I think a black hole's distorting those ones. <laughs> okay, so here's another little trick. I got my white airbrush ink. This is also a pen ink. So you just wanna dip in with your little dotting tool but you want to find the center of your universe there and do these little dots. These are like your little stars. I did try this with a sparkly polish, but I do find it's, um, it depends on your sparkly polish. If you have a really um, very fine sparkly polish, that could work. The chunkier doesn't seem to work at all. So find what you think the center of your universe is and try to put the most of the dots in that area. There is another way to do this. Let's give it a try. It's hard because I only have one hand and I don't know if I want to ask the cameraman. I think he's helped us enough tonight. Can't leave the camera. <laughs> and what I'm going to try to do is flick it with my pinky. Oh, that kind of worked. 
makes my pinky dirty, but you just, oh, see that splatter? I don't know if you can see that, but it gives the tiniest little dots. That does really work. It seem to be splattering everywhere, including on my new little lamp. Fortunately, it's plastic. It really cleans off quite nicely. Okay. Now I'll just wait for the paint to dry and then I can top coat it. Here comes that impatient stage for me. I just want to top coat it right away. I wish I could take my little lamp and just dry, but this is paint. But that'll be coming in one more. Oh my goodness, look at them. I am just like a child. Okay, so I've got my top coat gel. I'm top coating these nails. I think I can let that go. It looks like a starburst. Just gonna hold that in place. Just give it 10, 15 seconds. And then, oh man. Top coat just changes everything, doesn't it? Makes everything so happy and shiny. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna hold that for a few seconds. I'd like to do my thumb right away. I like to give it a flash kit right away because um, thumbs, when they're laying on an angle, when you put the gel on it, it can flow into the cuticle and make quite a clumpy mess. Now I'm gonna cure the four. And I just need to do 30 seconds on that top coat. That was fun, a terrible mess. I'm clearly not the neatest, but <laughs> that was fun. I like these galaxy nails. Let's check out the reveal shots. That's a fun design to do. I really would like to try this in other colors. I may have to study the universe a little to see what other colors are going on out there. And thanks to Vanity Planet for my little lamp. I absolutely love it. It's so lightweight. When I'm at work, I sometimes just want to come home and I bring one home with me and I can do it on the couch and I watch TV. It's awesome and so lightweight. If you're thinking of buying an LED lamp, you really should check out this little guy. Go to Vanity Planet. The link is in the description below. Use the special discount code Susie's Nails at the checkout to get 70% off. You get a great LED lamp and you help support my YouTube channel. I wouldn't recommend anything to you guys that I don't just love and I really do love this. I'm looking forward to doing the next video. I don't even know what design I'm going to do yet, but I'm on the hunt for a new one. Thanks for watching and I'd love to thank Vanity Planet for supporting this video.